crime that gripped our area. Six family members wiped out in a gruesome mass murder, inspiring one of the scariest movies ever made, The Amityville Horror. 37 years later, a claim that new evidence has been discovered is raising questions. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan has the exclusive details from Amityville. Who can forget those windows? Windows like eyes. They make the house in the movie Amityville Horror look so haunting. As terrifying as the 1979 movie is, the real-life events that inspired the blockbuster are much more frightening and are still on the minds of Amity Long Island residents today. I wouldn't go in there at night. You hear all the ghost stories. I feel sorry for the people that live there. It was a very tragic story. Police in Suffolk County, New York, have charged 23-year-old Ronald DeFeo, Jr. It all unfolded on November 13, 1974, when 23-year-old Ronald DeFeo, Jr. used a high-powered rifle to shoot and kill his parents, two younger sisters, and two little brothers, while they all lay sleeping in their beds. DeFeo later confessed to the killings, telling police, Voices from the house made him do it. I think that's a pretty open and shut case. Or is it? This crime did not happen the way that it's commonly accepted. Instead of one shooter, could there have been two? A second gunman? We firmly believe that there was indeed a second gun involved in the commission of the crime. Ryan Katzenbach, who is working on his third documentary about the murders, insists more than one person was responsible. And he says he has the documents and now the evidence to prove it. This exclusive video obtained by CBS2 shows a team of underwater archaeologists Katzenbach hired looking for evidence in the canal behind the house. Just five weeks ago, he says they hit the jackpot. They found a gun. Once we cleaned it off, you could see that it was there was a trigger and the handle and everything else. The police were on site all morning, and as soon as we brought it to shore, it was turned over to them to their crime lab for a forensic ID. Katzenbach says this new evidence confirms a long-standing belief that, in fact, DeFeo did not act alone. He needed help to kill six people. How could one person walk through a three-story Dutch colonial house and shoot six different victims on two different levels, and no one got out of bed, no one put up a struggle? Other details about the case taken together, he says, add up to a second gun and a second shooter. Take a look at this crime scene photo of what appears to be a pillowcase found in a trash can next to the canal. We knew that DeFeo had used pillowcases in the commission of cleaning up the crime scene. After the killing, police say DeFeo used a pillowcase to carry the rifle and other evidence that he took from the house and tossed it all in a storm drain. They also found this handgun holster, but no gun. Katzenbach says that missing gun is the one his team pulled out of the canal. Other details from the 1974 police report also point to the possibility that someone else helped DeFeo kill his family, says Katzenbach. From eyewitness accounts to crime scene photos, even handwritten notes from the detective, he says it all adds up. But Suffolk police say not so fast. They stand by their original findings that only one gun and one shooter killed this family. They insist no one else is at large. People were very creative and the internet allows them to pull up items that they think are facts when in fact they're not facts. Still, Katzenbach says he obtained every record Suffolk County has on the case and believes evidence was overlooked once they had a suspect and a confession. And to chance the fair getting a new trial out of this on the basis of new evidence, I just don't think it's someplace that Suffolk County wants to go. The gun is still being examined, but with decay and no legible serial number, it may be impossible to ever identify. From Amityville, Jennifer McLogan, CBS2 News. And DeFeo, currently serving six consecutive sentences of 25 to life, since his confession, by the way, has changed his account of what happened numerous times. All right. Let's